Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everybody, hello YouTubers. Uh, Aujourd'hui, je suis en France. Today I'm in France and I'm going to be re reviewing a tobacco that I picked up here in France. Uh, Le Superior uh, Tobacco de Qualité Qualité Tobacco of Quality um, This is my second attempt of doing this video No it's not, it's my third attempt My first attempt the battery failed My second attempt this, It turned out quite well except there was no sound because the microphone's broken hence I'm wearing earphones with a built-in mic and uh, so housekeeping I'm going to be smoking it in my Peterson Christmas pipe um, apologize if the uh, light is not so good it's uh, getting a little late now and I've got the sniffles, sorry. Um, yeah, so it's a 2014 Christmas pipe B62. <coughs> Excuse moi. And the reason I got the um, Le Superior, I was reading a blog by somebody, I think his name was the Dutch Pipe Smoker and he was writing about his um, his holiday in Normandy where I happen to be in Normandy right now in um, a little village called Ducey I'm stopping at the Blue House which is a great place to stop and in the Dutch Pipe Smokers blog um, he mentioned some of the tobaccos he picked up in France and this was one of them I mean, he didn't exactly recommend it, but mentioned it and tried to describe it. And it is a, I don't know if you can make out the colours, I expect you can't. Sorry, let's tilt the camera. Maybe that'll help. Uh, uh, it seems to me a bit um, pale looking. I don't know how to describe it, slightly dusty looking if that makes any sense. Um, and this is the thing, is it, um, it reminds me, it looks as if somebody's got some cigars such as um, Hamlet's or Café Cremes and then stuck them in a shredder. It's not very, that moist, it's not that moist and um, as I say, it looks looks slightly, best way to describe it, slightly dusty looking and light compared to the um, American tobacco that my brother brought me over from Montreal which was like it had been dipped in an oil slick but this is very dry and my, uh, my first impression of it was um, that it was very very mild but uh, because that uh, first impression video didn't work out very well I made a, a second one and allowed the tobacco to um, just rest in the pipe for a bit and my second impression of it was that it did taste a bit like the over-the-counter cigars that you get, Hamlet's, Café Cremes, the, the cheaper small cigars Yes, it's peculiar. I mean, I'm used to aromatics and English blends. So this is very... You could probably smoke this all day. It's mild enough. But if I had to describe it, I'd say it's a bit like a, a cigar in a pipe which might be exactly what some people like but um, I think had I tried it beforehand I don't think I would have gone out especially to get uh, Le Superior 
There's not much more I can say about it really. I know that uh, Pip from Pip's Pipery Practices did um, did a, a short sort of presentation, if you like, on um, on cafe crowns, and it was the sort of first thing I thought about when I relit this. But uh, the first time I lit it, it didn't really have a very strong taste at all. It does stay alight well though, but that's probably due to it being quite dry. Hmm. Not sure that I would um, I would put this in the list of tobaccos that I'd recommend, but if you are in France and decide to get some, I got the 40 gram bag. Perhaps see if you if you can get uh, a smaller size one um, because you might be disappointed okay c'est tout oh this is my friend Frank who's a French bull terrier hey Frank or Franck hey doing buddy And this is the view from the window. So this is the view outside the blue house. 